All right, here's a new video. First, I'm gonna record with my smartphone. You should know. It's in a HP Pavilion a G series laptop. But uh, there are more laptops who are suffering from this uh, problem. Okay, let's, let's boot this up. Then you can see the problem. Here we go. Okay, that's the Windows uh, 10 logo. So far, so good. <clears throat> then it stops, and then you get a black screen. I think a minute, sometimes a minute, some, sometimes two minutes. Only this black screen. The laptop is still uh, powered on. So oh, it's uh, still as a black screen, as you can see. Now you're waiting, you're waiting. Then out of the blue, the Windows logo uh, appears again, and it's booting, uh, booting in Windows 10. It's now more than a minute, I think. Black screen. Not the blue screen of that, but the black screen of that. And that's just a joke. There's, uh, uh, the screen, uh, the screen uh, not uh, totally disappears, just for. Uh, for one or two minutes and now it's back you see it's spinning uh, the, and now you see when it's done login and now it's okay but how are we gonna fix this okay I'll uh, put on uh, the remote control software and I show you a simple registry uh, fix how you can fix this here we go. Okay, we are now on the, um, the laptop side, on the Windows 10. I'm using TeamViewer, uh, not remote control, because this is in the Windows 10, uh, 10 Home Edition and it doesn't support uh, remote desktop control. So I use TeamViewer. Anyway, while I was troubleshooting uh, this laptop, one thing noticed me, and that was this. You go to my PC or this PC and you click with the right mouse click on it, you choose properties. Then you see uh, the system info, you go to system, uh, to device manager I mean, you click on it. And then you see uh, all the hardware and one thing, uh, yeah. I saw this and I, I thought, what is this? I see two integrated graphical cards, or you can call it the uh, GPUs. Uh, integrated uh, graphic cards. One is from AMD Radeon and one is from the built-in uh, Intel processor, the Intel HD graphic. There are two GPUs. I know that Windows 10 is uh, negotiating while booting. If there are more uh, GPUs uh, in a uh, laptop or computer, so that took my attention. I wrote down the, the steps in the sheet. Step one uh, is the most important: uh, open Rack Edit, run it as an administrator. You click on the search icon and understand. Type in rack edit.exe. Executable means exit. Right mouse click, run as administrator. Uh, it say uh, this is in this but it say do you know it for sure? You say yes, rack edit. 
Now you see rack edit is opened. Full screen. Go back to my sheet. Open the edit, uh, edit tab and click on find. Here is the edit and here is the find. So you, get, you see now a search box and you type in this word. Enable ULPS. Enable ULPS. And then you click on search. It says now in Dutch, uh, I translate it, it's, uh, it's uh, searching uh, through the register for that specific word. This word. Enable ULPS. Okay, it's searching. I hear, uh, I hear uh, the, fan, the fan spinning. So the CPU is throttling. It depends on what, what CPU you uh, have. This is a quite old uh, Intel CPU, so it takes uh, a lot of time. It's a lot of instructions, a lot of calculation. The register is, uh, the register is very uh, powerful, with a lot of strings and values. So it's still uh, searching. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. It's, fi uh, it's finding uh, the string enable ULPS for the first time. You see it here. The value is one. That means enable. Just d double click on it with your left mouse click. And change it to zero. Zero means disabled. Beneath uh, here, you, uh, under that, under enable U ULPS, you see, it, uh, you see the same name, but don't change that. Only this one. Okay, we search for the next uh, string, enable ULPS. Use this one, uh, search for the next one. And you get this value, you click edit, search again. Now it's uh, searching the register again. And here's the second one, enable ULPS. Double click on it with your left mouse click. And change it to zero, disable. Click edit. Search for the next one. You get the next next string. Don't don't touch that. Uh, leave uh, leave it uh, on uh, one. That's okay. Search for the next one. Okay, this one is zero. That's okay. Search for the next one. Don't change that. Search for the next one. Okay, this one is also uh, zero, this, so it's good. Search for the next one. Edit, search. Again, search the next one. Okay, uh, it says in Dutch, uh, I translated uh, um, the registry editor uh, Searching is uh, completed. Click OK. Change it from 1 to 0, that means disable. Search for more entries, uh, we have done that. We saw four entries, two of them we have changed from uh, 1 to 0. And the other two entries, they, they are already uh, where 0, so that's good. Okay, now we can reboot. 
just click start the power button and just click reboot uh, reboot okay I'm gonna reboot now and I'm gonna film with my smartphone um, how the boot is uh, or, the, or the boot uh, the boot delay of the black, black screen is uh, away so you can see that now smartphone put it on recording reboot now and now we're going to see if the fix is working the logo the spinning uh, circle and the just a little bit of black screen now over here and this back and there you add the log on, log on screen so no more uh, one or two minutes delay and we are in Windows 10 that's it that was the fix uh, I hope uh, I help you with this fix and uh, see you around. Till the next one. Boom. Boom. See ya.